गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ आवर न्यू कोर्स इकॉन थ्री फाइव थ्री एग्रीकल्चर मार्केटिंग ट्रेड एंड प्राइस सो टुडे वी हैव टू सी द टॉपिक व्हाट इज मीन बाय मार्केट मार्केटिंग मीनिंग डेफिनेशन व्हाट आर द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ मार्केट व्हाट इज मार्केट स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ मार्केट स्ट्रक्चर एंड व्हाट इज मार्केट कंडक्ट एंड मार्केट परफॉर्मेंस नाउ वी विल सी वन बाय वन so first is what is market the market is the word which comes from latin word marketus which means merchandise or trade or place where business is conducted so as everybody knows what is mean by market we visit some places where the buying and selling activity carried out this is the market now we have to see the definition of market so market is a sphere within which price determining forces operates this is the first definition second market it is the area within which the forces of demand and supply converge to establish a single price these are the two definitions of market now which are the different components which affects the market as we know for the existence of market we need a some commodity goods for transaction means for physical exchange this is the first component second the existence of buyers and seller we need buyer and seller for existence of market third business relationship or intercourse between buyers and sellers means there must be a relationship or connection between buyers and seller and last one demarcation of area such as place region country or whole world so there are these are the components of the market now next is what is market structure the term structure refers to the something that has organization and dimension shape size and design which are evolve for the purpose of performing any marketing function that is the structure now what is the definition of market structure so market structure refers to those characteristics of market which affects the traders behavior and their performance another definition of market structure is market structure is the formal organization of the functional activity of a marketing institution now as like a components of market there are some components of market structure but keep in mind market structure determines the market conduct and performance now components there are five components of market structure first one concentration of market power degree of product differentiation condition for entry of firm in the market means condition for new entry of the firms flow of market information and last one degree of integration now we will see these components one by one so first component is concentration of market power so in every market there is operation of market power is important element for determining the nature of competition and market conduct and performance in that present market this is so how we will measure the market power it is measured by number and size of firm existing in the market so the extent of concentration represent control of an individual firm or group of firm over the buying and selling of the produce in a some markets a high degree of market concentration restricts the movement of goods between buyers and seller at fair and competitive prices and creates an oligopoly or oligopsony situation in the market so this market power it can control or it can conduct the market so oligopoly means a market where few two or few sellers are present now next next component of market structure is degree of product differentiation so as we know the products are homogeneous or heterogeneous if the products are homogeneous their degree of product differentiation affects the market structure 
if the products are homogeneous their price variation will be very less or price variation will be not wide second if the products are heterogeneous firms have the tendency to charge different prices for different products so in that case the product differentiation price range price variation will be very high in case of heterogeneous products everyone tries to prove that his product is superior to the product from the products of other so just keep in mind in case of product differentiation the price of that product or price variation of that product it depends on nature of that product either it is homogeneous or heterogeneous now next third component is conditions for entry of firms in the market as we know in every market day by day new firms are coming or competition is increasing so there are some conditions for entry of firms in the market another this is another dimension of market structure that is restriction for restriction for the entry of new firm if any one of the entry of firm in the market or for the new entry in the market sometimes a big firms uh, do not allow new firm into the market or make their entry difficult by their dominance in the market as we know in some markets there are some dominant firms or dominant shops or a group of dominant shop they restricts the entry of the new firm because of competition they don't want to increase the competition because it will hamper their benefits or hamper their profit now another our next uh, market structure component is flow of market information as we know now everybody is uh, aware about the market information so market information is helps all the buyers and sellers in case of price of the product in price determination the market intelligence or market information play a very important role if the buyers have a, if the buyers have a market information or information about the uh, price range it will be beneficial to them now last degree of integration so what is integration integration means collection or collaboration of the various activities under a single firm so if <clears throat> if the that firm is integrated if that firm is integrated their profit will be more then their market structure will be different than the non integrated firm this is all about the market structure and components of market structure now in the last we will see what is market conduct and market performance so as we know market conduct it is the pattern of behavior of firms market conduct is pattern of behavior of firm especially in relation to the pricing and their practices in adapting and ad adjusting the market in which they function so there are some so market conduct includes market sharing and price setting policies policies aimed at covering rivals policies towards setting the quality of product this is about the market conduct now what is market performance market performance is the economic result that flows from the industry as each firm pursues its particular line of conduct society has to decide the criteria for satisfactory market performance means society decides they have decided some criteria for checking the market performance as first one efficiency in the use of resources including real cost of performing various functions means various functions means advertising other marketing functions the existence of monopoly or monopoly of profits including relationship of margin with the average cost of performing various functions dynamic progressiveness of the system in adjusting size and the number of firms in relation to volume of business whether or not system aggravates the problem of inequalities in interpersonal interregional or intergroup income so this is all about 
मार्केट कंडक्ट एंड मार्केट परफॉर्मेंस थैंक यू